landscape photographer I think it's very important to learn continuously and my way of developing my skills is to study painters. I think painters offer so much insight, their skills in terms of composition and light offer so much information about how nature can be interpreted. Now I can hardly wait to go up there, let's see, let's close the aperture a little bit up there, the forest is up there. Trees look so well. They look covered in snow and frost. And I'm trying to find a photo composition that is worthy of being compared with a painting. I tried to raise the drone, but because of the temperature that it's so low, the Mavic can't fly in these situations. And I got a warning of low temperature on the battery. I ignore it, raise the drone at about 40 meters and then the battery went completely to zero and the drone landed and lucky for me it landed on my hand so this is a sad reminder that these mountains are really dangerous and if you fall from up there where my forest is you're ending up with a cross to remember you as you can see all around me, everything is covered in snow. And even though the trail is covered in snow, there is no problem for me. As I told you in a previous episode, having a GPS tracker with you, it's really important. I'm in the enchanted forest. Take a break to eat something and drink some more tea. Really, really cold. Minus 16. I think the sun is there just to shine light, but warm, no. <laughs> Whew. Ah! <laughs> this is one of the things that you can do in the forest. <laughs> You know when you're tired and cold, when you're eating bread with cheese, you think it's heaven on earth? <laughs> Five to ten minutes to up to the plateau, and then we'll start searching for that composition that reminds us of a painting, or reminds me of a painting. These fir trees covered in snow, I think it snowed last night a little bit and also this morning when I came here. So the forest is it's it's beautiful right now. It's I think it's perfect. You know drinking this tea in this really cold weather makes me think to only one thing that safety should be your number one priority. 
before being a landscape photographer and enjoying nature and bringing home photos that can be admired on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, you are just a simple human being going out in the wilderness and Mother Nature will not forgive you. Mother Nature will not look at you and say, okay, he's a landscape photographer, he has a lot of his mind, he carries a lot of equipment, so I should cut him some slack. No, if you don't come prepared, you will freeze your butt off, you will get wet, you'll get, you'll slip and fall. So, all sorts of bad things can happen to you in the forest if you're not prepared to respect the forest. Then because because there is no such thing as man against nature. When I'm hearing this kind of thing, man against nature, I think the person that says his, it's a little bit cuckoo in the head because there is no such thing. Mother nature always wins. looks that beautiful it will not be difficult to find interesting compositions because here is how it looks When the landscape looks like this, your job as a landscape photographer gets a lot easier. So I'll just take my main camera out, put it on my main tripod, and I will do my main photos. <laughs> Woo! Even though I'm tired, I feel exhilarated by all that is behind me. It's funny how even though you're tired, you can base you can simply lift up to 110% by a beautiful landscape. But this is happening only if you are a landscape photographer, so don't try this at home. It's only for experts. So at the moment, all my photos rely on fallen trees and as you can see I have these fallen trees over here and these fallen trees over here and these trees form intersections and you can use these intersections to send the eye to one side of the photo and then use the other side of the tree, the trunk, to get back to a, a fir tree that is covered in beautiful snow. And you can also use the trunks of the fir trees that are not covered in snow as stopping elements because these are going to be darker and are going to stop the eye. But the forest, I don't know man, <sighs> haven't seen the forest like this in a while so I'm pretty excited. It's nice how the light comes through the trees over there and if in a moment like this you succeed in capturing that feeling of light. I'm exploring the forest, I'm having fun, as you can see, I'm really happy because the forest looks so good. And I'm feeling, and I'm feeling like I'm in Narnia, I mean, one moment or another a spirit of the forest will, uh, will emerge. I'm starting to do some panoramas because I think this way I can better capture the, the, I don't know, the feeling of the forest. I think a panoramic shot would look better. Hey! There's a neck over here.
Look how beautiful the light is over there. The challenge in photographing this scene is that the red channel gets overexposed very easily. And this means that I need to take about two or three shots in order to have all details in the shadows and also details in the brightest highlights. The snow reflects so much light, so I need to be aware of that and check the histogram not only on the luminosity, but the luminosity of every color channel. And usually in a situation like this, the red channel gets overexposed, so make sure to check this in all occasions. Otherwise, you end up with over the close photos. The drone battery is dead, the phone battery is dead. Uh, I went through two batteries on my cameras. It seems that the coal is taking its tribute. And now it's time for me to go in that direction over there in my effort to reach the edge of the forest. It's on the edge of a really big fall. It's about 300 meters give or take. It's a really spectacular fall. The problem is that through here there is no marked trail. Uh, even my GPS doesn't have this trail. The only luck that I have is that I know, kind of know the area. And that fall over there, it's really nice. I mean, to look at, not to fall. <laughs> but <laughs> the forest, as you can see, it's still spectacular. And we're gonna still have some beautiful shots, especially when we're gonna reach the edge and we'll see the entire panorama in front of us.